My nerves are way worse uh, for music than they are for theater. Barber, it's like you have no heartbeat before you go on. You're just like, all right, guys, see ya. I'm going to go on stage now. <laughs> you just like saunter out of the room. We're all like, god damn, that guy's cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking tan, buddy. I know. I've been uh, doing a lot of gardening. <laughs> I wonder if I should angle this a bit. Oh yeah, we want to see a little bit of that record collection. That's a little, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the first time that we met? Yeah, we had a mutual friend named Andrew Shaver. We lived next door to each other, and he had this amazing loft. Yeah, so we would, have, we would have met at one of those uh, super fun loft shows. Dude, those shows were so cool. So many amazing artists came through. After the show that you played, I remember introducing myself. You had just played a show, and I was like, so how do you make, how do you do, like, recording? How many songs do you write? Where do you record them? <laughs> I had all these, like, stupid questions for you. You were very patient with me. Yeah. Well, that was, that was a long time ago now. What was that? A couple like, of records was... later, and uh, here we are. Yeah, exactly. That must have been like 11 years ago. Crazy, dude. When I was sort of thinking about recording some songs, I knew that Andrew was a, a man of music, and I was like, How, what do you think I should do? How do you think I should approach this? And he was like, well, your first call should be Matthew Barber, see what, see what he thinks. So I remember asking you if you wanted to go for a beer and I could sort of pick your brain about it. And by the end of that conversation, it seemed like you were, for whatever reason, interested in, in producing that first record. When you first sent me your demos, I was totally blown away. And I was like, okay, this is going to be easy. These, <laughs> these songs are great. I mean, <laughs> we put together a cool band and limited time that we had in a couple of days to make that first album. Two days, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it worked out great. That was a lot of fun. I remember coming out of it and being like, yeah, I think that's, that's probably the proudest I've been of anything that I've done. And then quickly it was like, okay, cool. How do we build from that? How do we, how do we, you know, move it up a level? Yeah, it was, that was a pretty fun time. <laughs> During this pandemic, the first little while, I wasn't writing that much. You know, we just kind of come from being on tour. We had to head home and, uh, and yeah, we were just getting going. Yeah, man, I think at our last show in Chicago, I, I was sort of, it wasn't supposed to be our last show, but it was, and mid-show, I was like, okay, great. At some point in every show, it feels like it sort of clicks in. It would be really nice to be able to click in right off the top of the show. I felt like I was starting to get a little bit more comfortable in the, in the driver's seat, so I hope that can continue at some point. I know it will, but a uh, matter of when, I suppose the response to the song that I did on Schitt's Creek. Just having people all over the world find it and have it mean something to them and people getting married and having their first dances to it. All kinds of big life milestone moments. And the sort of the doors in terms of an audience that that certainly opened up. It's a great cover. It's, <laughs> it's hard to do a cover really well and, and sort of respect the integrity of the song but still make it your own. and. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, you really nailed it. It's led them to hear your, the tunes that you've written. Thanks, man. The Sundown uh, cover that you did on your most recent release of Gordon Lightfoot's amazing song is it's so beautiful and unique and so different from what Gord put down originally, but has the bones and the feeling of that song that are so incredible and, and such great vibes that you bring to it. It's kind of fun to, you know, see what you can do with somebody else's thing. Mm, for sure. No, thank you. I admire your raw talents as a, as a performer and you know, particularly your voice, you know, you just, you've got a natural voice. You sang so consistently, and I don't mean consistent in that it's exactly the same every time, but it's just, it's good every time. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Tough to sit here and listen to somebody say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is Noah Reed. And I'm Matthew Barber. And, and we're, we're in good company. company.